Hey gun people! Doing some little battery maintenance here on uh the razor. Um I don't I don't ride this razor much, so the battery, if I don't start it up and charge it, kinda goes dead. Now this is a two-year replacement battery, it's a Walmart, came with the razor. Um it says it was purchased in 1212, so you know, since you don't use it a lot and you're not starting it up all the time, I usually stick a charger on it every four to six months, let it charge up. So I was using this charger back here, just a regular old 12 bolt on on. I could either go 12 or uh, 6. So I, uh, and then my buddy Pat was cracking on me because it was made by Montgomery Wards. He's like, dude, that company's been out of business for 35 years. I said, hey, I bought this at a pawn shop, it works fine. So anyway, so I go to this estate sale yesterday and I find this little Black & Decker charger and they want like 10 or 12 bucks for it. I go, oh well shit, Pat's cracking on my Montgomery Ward, maybe I'll get this one and it'll do a better job. So we spent all night looking for a damn uh, user's manual on it. So if you've got a Black & Decker smart battery charger, I believe the, I'll put the exact model number, I think it's a B. C12B and I thought it was a BC128 because the 8 looked like a B. So we had a hard time finding it, still couldn't find it, found one that was close. So this little charger here is a uh, it'll charge at 2, 6, or 12 uh, amps there. So and then it's got a little button there that says a battery voltage and then it's got a alternator check then it's got four little lights underneath it there that says fault, reverse polarity if you put your stinking leads on backwards and then battery voltage and then it's got an alternator good or indicator light and then it's also got some little fault codes so when you turn it on it says 000 or FOC and what I will do is I'll try to remember to upload the manual to my website and then I'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to download it so very hard to find this. I don't know how old this is, but these battery chargers last a long time. I mean, if, if you don't use them that much, and if you take care of them, they're going to last a long time. So I bought this and I hooked it up to this battery that was going dead. So um, I got a FO3 warning on here, and it said it was an open sale. Uh, bring it to your dealership and have them check it. Now I'm not a battery guy. Uh, I, I was. My buddy was a battery guy, Kevin. I don't know if he watched my video. I texted him. He ain't texted me back yet, knucklehead. So uh, I don't know where he's at. I think he's, he might be still in California and moved out of there. But he uh, he used to work for Interstate Battery, so he knows all the ins and outs of batteries. So I was going to ask his input. And if you guys know the difference of what's going on here, I don't know what an open cell is. I've heard that one of the cells will get some uh, sulfate or something build up like a white powder. And then if it gets low, that white powder flakes off, and then it goes to the bottom, and it floats, and it'll touch your cell, and it can make your cell bad. And then I, and then another guy said, if you dump all the water and acid out of the battery, and then shake all that white stuff out, or, and pressure kind of pressure clean it in there, you can refill it with distilled water, and it may uh, recharge, and you may fix it. But I mean, for a five-year-old battery. I think a new battery for this thing cost me 70, 80 bucks. Now I don't want to spend 70, 80, 100 bucks by the time taxes and uh, this fee and that fee and disposal fee and third bathroom fee. By the time I get all the damn government fees, I'm paying 100, 150 bucks for a battery. So I'd rather try and fix it. So I put it on this stinking charger, and uh, when you, I'm going to go over these little details here. Once I zoom this in here, I'll go check these little buttons. So if I press this little button here. To where I can choose the 2, 6, or 12 amp. So right now if I leave it there, I'm on 2 amps. It'll charge it slower and it takes longer. And now it's jumping to what? 13 or whatever. I guess those are the uh, voltage. So then if I click it here, again, it goes to 6. If I leave it there, it'll charge it quicker than the 2. But it'll still take longer than it's a 12 volt battery than if I just put it to the 12. So when it's charging on 12, it'll tell me what it's charging at. And again, it's like what? See, there it goes. Zero, zero. I'm not sure what the hell it is. When it go 
there's my FO3 warning. And FO3, according to the manual, is that open cell. So I'm charging it at this for a while, and now the FO3 will go away if I press, what's that little thing say there? Hell, you can read it, something about voltage. So if I press voltage, it tells me it's charging at about 12.3. Well, it was charging at about 11, and then, and I don't know why this happened, maybe one of you guys can explain it. When I shook the battery around, because I cleaned the battery, and I made sure all of them were full. I filled up the, all the little things. I popped these off, filled them all up with uh, distilled water. But if I shake this and kind of bang it around, pretty much what it would do in a car if I was driving, the voltage changed. It was like it, it was charging at 11.3, and then I shook it around, and it went up to 12.3. Now, 12.5 is the highest I've seen it at right now. And I don't know if I can get it to go higher than 12 by banging that sucker around more or not. So let me go banging around. Here, here's how you fix your battery. <laughs> you kick it. <laughs> so I hear the water sloshing. There we go. See, it goes 12.6, 12.7, 12.6. I shake it really aggressively. Can I get a 12.7? Come on, baby, 12.7. All right. So maybe somebody can explain why the hell the voltage jumps up when I shake the battery. Am I getting water all over the cell or am I shaking something off? Uh, it appears to be a good little battery charger. I, I hooked it up to the, the Ford uh, truck battery, recharged it, and then I tested a little alternator. This little button here for the alternator checker. If, uh, what I did is I hooked it up to the battery, but I didn't plug it in, started the car, then I plugged in the battery charger and I hit that button right there that says alternator check and after a few seconds of dashes and this and that that little alternator good light came on and said my alternator was charging appropriately so uh, I don't know 12 bucks for a little battery charger I thought it was pretty good I don't know if they still make if you look up Black & Decker you're gonna find they make 1400 things of everything so I had no idea they had made so much crap but uh, again, I'll try to upload the manual if anybody's got one of these and they can't find a manual. And uh, if anybody knows why my voltage goes up when I shake that battery around, and because I'm getting that error code of an open cell, and it's telling me to take it to a uh, battery person, someone else said take it to AutoZone and they'll test it. But... I mean, I don't know. I don't drive it that much. If I charge it up and it holds a charge for a couple months and it starts the razor up, I'm not real sure why I need another battery. But uh, if somebody tells me that it's going to blow up or short out or some crap like that, then and I think you know what you're talking about. Oh, I forgot to tell you the other stuff I use. So, uh, the other stuff I used is this stuff. Uh, let's see here. This says battery cleaner and acid detector. It comes out as yellow and it turns pink if you got acid around it. And then after I clean it off, oh, I don't know if you can see that. So after I spray that on it, it says acid detect and it's like it sprays out yellow, it turns pink. Then I wipe that off and then I spray this uh, battery terminal protector. And it's like a, a red, really light grease. And I mean a really light grease. You can tell I've, I've sprayed it on these guys. So you can kind of see what it looks like uh, after I clean those. Because they were kind of not getting a good charge for the uh, thing. But So I cleaned them off and then I sprayed that on it. And hopefully that's supposed to prevent it from uh, acid them back up. But anyway, so that's the Black & Decker charger. Uh, again, I'll put the right uh, description of it. The BC12B, I believe. BC, one, two, boy. Boy, Charles, one, two, boy. All right, we'll end that there on battery charging of the week at the estate sale for 12 bucks. I also picked up a cool painting. I'm going to do a video on that, too. All right, we'll end that there.